Hello, welcome to the video for what is text the as currency node. So here's our example. It's pretty simple. Basically, here's what our output looks like when I'm using the as currency node. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. So the as currency is found in our text section and you, you will notice there are two different versions, a float and an int. The only real difference between the two is the int one takes an int for the input and the float takes a float for the input. So we're going to go ahead and look at the float for our example because it basically is the same thing, just has a float for the value. So in terms of our inputs, you have your value as your first input. This can obviously take anything into it or you can put the value in directly. For our example here, we're going to use 100,000 with five zeros actually after the decimal place. So the first option is our rounding mode. How is this going to round? And this is basically if it's going to round up or round down and it just it's your setting basically on how you want it to round. We have use grouping. So how this works is let's go ahead and uncheck it and let's run this value through and hit play. And as you notice we have 100,000 in one straight number. If we use grouping, what it's going to use is it's going to use whichever local currency group grouping division. I can't remember what exactly it's called, but basically let me hit play. And in the US, we use commas to group our numbers into the hundreds and thousands and such. So now I have a hundred thousand with the comma here designating between the thousands place. So that is what the use groupings done. And that's based on your culture settings on your computer for which character it uses. There we go. Character was the word. So our next one is our minimum integral digits. Integral is going to be the number before your divider in US currency. That's the decimal. And fractional will be the number after your divider, which is the decimal in US currency. So integral is before my decimal, fractional is after my decimal. So let's say, for example, my value is 45 cents United States. If I hit play, we're going to see it's 0 0.45 because I've told it I want one minimal integral, minimum integral digit. If let's say I wanted it to show two, you put two and now we're going to see 0, 0 0.45. So that's useful if you want to have your currency have the same exact formatting despite them having anything before or after the decimal place. And the same thing occurs on our fractional digits. By default, you're going to have zero for your minimum fractional digit, and you're going to have one for your minimum integral digit. So if we go ahead and run this, we're going to see 0 0.45. But let's say we had an even $100. We hit play, you're going to see an even $100 because we have zero for our minimum fractional digit. And of course, there is a maximum for each one as well. So let's say you only wanted to show up to two digits and you want it to show two at all times for the fractional decimal part. And let's say I had a, you know, accounting issue where I had, you know, a repeating decimal place. I had a third of a dollar. If I go and hit play, we're gonna find it's 100.33 because I've told it to go ahead and have two for the minimum and maximal fractional digit and my rounding mode is set half to even. Now of course you can change the different rounding modes to try to get different results. Our last one is our currency code. By default if you leave this blank it's going to go ahead and show your default cultural currency code. In the United States that'll be the dollar sign. If you replace this with a currency code string it's going to go ahead and format it with that. Now the nice thing is this does not have to actually be a current valid currency code. It can be anything you want. So let's say in my game I want G to indicate gold. If I hit play now we're going to see G 100.33. So that will go ahead and replace it. And the reason I put the background there is even if you put a space here it'll still put it in and replace it. So now you have a space 100.33 for my currency code. 
So that's going to be it. That is what our as currency does. It's a good way of making sure that you're going to have a culturally sensitive and correct currency value and indicator. Plus, with these options, it's a nice way to make sure, sure your currency is formatted correctly. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.